mixed it up enough. She's played her backhand too much. She's got to go to her forehand. Well, this is a rare experience for all of us to see the champion Everett Lloyd being out hit. And seeing a great champion on the way, perhaps to her first victory, a future great champion. Late call. Kraft has held, and when we return, it's Chris Everett Lloyd serving to stay in it. Things are rumbling much more angrily inside that man, Father Peter Graff, than the daughter, Steffi, who is now a game away from her first ever pro championship. And to win it over Ever Lloyd, the dream, four points distant. The only time that John Lloyd's wife has lost here in this tournament, in her 10 tournaments, family circle, was to Andrea Yeager in 1982. Jaeger was 16 at the time. Oh! Well, at least Chris started differently this match. She won the first point. Last three service games, she's been down love 15, so maybe it'll be different this game. was looking for that 30. forehand back to her backhand and Graf drilling it down the line. Two points from victory. really a bad forehand because she was going for it. If it was a nervous in the net kind of forehand, oh, uh, she's in trouble, but she's still going for the lines. Chrissy must have hit the back edge of the baseline tape. And she did. Steffi was pretty <laughs> surprised. And look, she waits to the last minute. And right there, she is on top of that ball. She's going to make a good volley. A point away from five all in the second set. should Graf win this game and the match would be that she would run off six consecutive games against Chris Everett Lloyd, who had the four-love lead in this set. Everett Lloyd's backhand has gotten shorter and shorter and shorter.
question as to the more aggressive player at this point. Defending champion Everett Lloyd playing cautiously, conservatively. Well, that style has won her a lot of matches. And Steffi's a newcomer, and she can afford to go for it. Only 1114. Oh! Chris Everett Lloyd holds. So the string of five straight games ends for Steffi Graf. It's five all in the second. Two points away she was on two occasions. Quiet, please. now and Graf is fresher, swifter, but will her nerves hold? Oh. 30 love. 30 love. Yeah, there are many questions I'm sure in the minds of those who watch here at the Sea Pines Racquet Club. One, what happens if it should go a third? questions in my mind is what happens to young Steffi Graf should she win today? Does that push her, vault her into uh, more international prominence or will she be like all the rest of the teenagers that seem to fade after a promising win? Woo! Big ace. When we return, Chris Everett Lloyd will serve to stay in it. Interesting, Joanne, that young Graf is not letting Chris dictate the points. No, she's not. 
she's hanging in there, and what she's doing is that same slice backhand. Whoops, that was a top spin. <laughs> but she's bouncy. Yes, fresh, she's eager. very, very fresh. points from victory. 15, well, she's very confident, too, because in the last, in this game, she's hit more top spin back in than she has in the last five. I think she really felt she could win when she was down about 4-3. And it came to her that this would be the day. huge moment in the tennis life of this talented young player from Brühl, West Germany. Quiet, please. of her biggest win ever. 16-year-old Steffi Graf winning seven of the last games, rallies to take the set, and beats Chris Everett Lloyd 6-4, 7-5. As is the defending champion, Chris Everett Lloyd. Chrissy, I know this is a difficult day for you, your second loss in this tournament after eight victories. A new star perhaps on the horizon. Why do you think she was able to win today. Well, I think Steffi, um, she was steadier than I was. You know, I was making a few more errors, and she was more patient. And I think, you know, just everything worked for us. She put a good game together, and um, probably the bottom line was she was more patient than I was. More patient. Did you feel that things <clears throat> had changed for you ahead, four games to love in the second set? Well, I think up until the first part of the second set, Steffi was making a few errors, and um, I was just basically playing the same way. And I think then she started, she probably felt loose, and she started going for more shots. And, you know, really, all the shots that she tried, she made. You know, she has a big forehand and didn't miss any backhands. And, you yeah, know, that's, hopefully that's the best she can play. Has this kindled a fire? The pressure's off. You know, I've never lost, I've never lost her before this, this match. And now... Um, the next time I play her, I think I'll be a little bit tougher. <laughs> okay, what a great champion you've been here, Chrissy. Congratulations, your 47th tournament as a professional, and this is your first, first victory. Time, yeah. Not a bad person to beat the mm -hmm. first time. How did you overcome Chris Everett Lloyd? Well, she wasn't really being too patient, like she said, and uh, she did some um, more arrows than usually. And I think I was playing technically quite well, and I, I was a little bit fortunate sometimes, and I really played very well. You made your own fortune, though. Down, love for in the second yeah. set. Were you thinking ahead to the third set, or did you think you could win it then? Well, I probably was thinking about the third set already, but I was trying to, to go for it, and I was trying to hit my forehand a little bit more, and then I was getting more patient. Six times this woman has beaten you, which is a tough psychological mountain. When did it come to you in this match that I'm going to make it this time? Well, when I was winning the first set, I really thought, now I can beat her, and... Then I was down for love, and I thought, oh, it's going to be a third set, but um, 
you're never really sure to, to win against her because she always can come back and she always can win again. But um, I think she was not really playing too well today. Danke, congratulations. Thanks we'll so see much. more. What a championship day for Steffi Graf, Dick. Indeed, Bud Collins, and our thanks to both Chris Everett Lloyd and Steffi Graf. And she won it with that overhead, and it must have seemed an eternity before it came down, put it away, and with it, her first defeat of Chris Everett Lloyd.